Welcome back to Endless Legend. We are playing as the Wild Walkers. I'm your host, Zinolith. We're joined by my cat. I'm sure she has very insightful commentary to provide. Okay, let's see where we left off. Alright. Oh yeah, we are right next to the other Wild Walker player. That's his scary stack there. Oh, thank you. Yes, what a pun. Okay, let's move towards my capital so I can escort my settler. Maybe let's just follow the river. If there is more forest here, it's good terrain to settle. Alright, build this. You can do this trick to buy out building, even if there's only one turn remaining. And it's a pretty efficient use of dust. Because buying out gets more efficient if there's very little production left. Yeah, this looks good. Let's just hope he doesn't have a settler on his way as well and beats me to it. Because it looks like it's one contiguous region. This, okay, this one doesn't give approval, so it's not necessary to have it in the first set of exploitations. Can't get it to one. Those are kind of unfortunately placed as no good reason to go there because there is no other region in this direction to explore and I don't need the game to tell me what values coast tiles have because I can just see that already here That's a neat trick. Didn't know you could do that. Well, you learn every day. Since we're in the river, let's do this. I really want to stock up on dust. So I can buy heroes, probably focus on wild walker heroes for those two cities because of the forests. 
it's kind of unfortunate that this ruin here had no dust. I would have be almost there for my first hero when I get the tech. Okay, era two and winter with the first set of debuffs. I've noticed that the winter debuffs are somewhat randomly generated each game. I've seen things like minus two strategic resources mind, which is kind of an interesting one. We have a titanium exploitation, so let's start with science first, so we can get more science. Of course, next to forest, so those are good. This one's good. Our food is good. And since we're next to rivers, this one's great as well. Definitely, okay, not definitely, but I might want to grab those two so I don't get overrun by the AI. Okay, right, those were well, vine snakes, right? Yes. Okay, I can kill those. Also, maybe I should upgrade these. Seeing as we just got new equipment, longbows, more damage, always better. And we'll finally get some health on these guys. I'd like to get the movement talismans, but right now I don't have the dust for that. Let's see. 8 damage, 15 attack, 16 damage, that's quite a big difference. Interesting. Is there no difference? Well, little difference in any case. Let's put everything into production. And start the next settler right away. Always do that if you can in a single turn. Two turns. This is a free barrow. I'll have to think a bit about the order in which I build those. Ok. 
Okay, those are 60. They're expensive, actually, relatively to the other buildings. And I can't buy out that yet. Three villages. So, with those, I'll have very quick rune exploration. That's fine. It's winter, so they can't reach me. Well, can't reach my hero, but don't care about that. I want path to this passive. It's probably the best army leader passive for wild walkers. just makes your already strong ranged units even stronger. I'm very close to running out of dust. So this turn I'll probably have to put a few population points into generating dust. Science is fine. anything off there, which is unfortunate. Hey, I found a fix that. not do the wrong thing in my favor. Oh, thought I saw another Empire's borders, but those were mine. Oh, 
Whoops. It is time to explore and learn. Search ancient sites. Search ancient sites for whatever treasures or knowledge they may contain. Great, ten moonleaf. <laughs> I think the next part of the quest requires me to build something, so this part about grow the city so it provides a solid source of industry should be taken literally. Time and experience bring knowledge, though new knowledge is not always welcome. Your dream of a great new tower to the stars, a symbol to Gaia, has been put off by strikes and riots at the building site. Akak Adahi, who leads the Sokwa, claims your dreams of foolish sacrilege. He, and many others, continue to insist on the old ways. There are those, however, who have seen what you have seen, and question the old ways as you do. You must explore, go farther, learn more. You convince them to look beyond the forests to seek new ways. It is time to explore farther. New regions should be explored and a new city founded. That should lead your people to believe that your vision for the Wild Walkers is more than just a dream. So maybe I won't settle in this arid wasteland. This one looks good. I'm sure I'll find something useful there. Steel, great. No other resources though. And no known resources in this region either. There, that's fine. This one makes no real difference, so I'll put it in growth.
Oh. That's not so good. Ended. Another one of these strong neutral faction units. With their chain lightning, AoE, they can do some serious damage. With my upgraded units, I can take them, but I might take damage and be unable to fight the purple or blue, no purple, AI. But I need to settle here right now. Probably another warning by them. Oh, a compliment. The eye is weird. If I remain here, I might be able to force them to attack from a plane style. But well give them worse stats. Mm, they're barely faster than my hero, which is unfortunate. better than I expected. Maybe I'm giving them too much respect. Ranged units in general are quite strong in this game. And here we see the effect of our first pacified village being rebuilt. This will come in very handy. Let's explore first before deciding where exactly to send the settler. Something I'm looking for in settling locations is that I can expand in a sort of rod shape or with tall triangles. And I'm trying to find a way to do it that gets a lot of forests.
Uh, I guess like this is fine. of yet. We just cost maintenance. Well, of course buildings cost maintenance too. But they provide more immediate benefit. Another ruin without dust is quite unfortunate. As you see, I'm still very far away from getting governors. Definitely central markets. Might even prioritize it over food. Because I'm starting to rack up a lot of expansion unhappiness. What is it actually called? Expansion disapproval. We have three villages probably ended, seeing as we encountered one stack of them in this region. Years. Give your people optimism and a new purpose by founding a city in a new region. Grow the city so it provides a solid source of industry. I think that text is just what was in this box in the previous part. Oh, a source of influence. So I probably don't even need to get that influence tax early. And I'll still be able to get some good empire plans going. Also, when a quest says produce something and the resource, it means in a single turn. Which isn't immediately obvious. are ended. And two more resources, so that's a good region for us. Scary.
Uh, I think I checked this one, yes. Alright, my dust went down because of unhappiness there and the drain from the building maintenance of the palace. No, not the palace, the city hall. Okay, see us here. Already have sewers there. Alright, let's auto. Okay, went better than expected. Might have to resort to another trick to get enough dust for governors, which is building units and selling them. I think I'll do that. It's hard. It's very hard to build a nice looking city in this region. And by nice looking I mean efficient.
Let's have a quick look at the stats. Not too far behind in research. Good food. Good population. Out expanding them. Always great. More industry. <laughs> Not more dust, which isn't surprising. About the same science. But both of those are fairly weaker eyes in comparison. So, for example, teal or dark green might have population comparative to mine. I won't know until I've met them. Right. Is it worth it to use that? What I should have done is used it earlier before I founded the fourth city. Okay. I should negate the unhappiness approval thing or not. I'm not sure if the threshold is 35 or 40 percent for unhappy. It's probably 40, seeing as it hasn't changed. Okay, it's been almost 40 minutes again. We'll continue this in the next episode. Thanks for watching.